Hello everyone, this is going to be a love reading for Taurus from now until the end of December. So let's see, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus in love? Please tell me about Taurus in love. What's happening in the life of Taurus in love? What's the situation now for Taurus? Oh, wow, great. So, um, you've got a brand new beginning here and you're very excited about it. It's a fated uh, new beginning, like destiny is at play here, Taurus. This is not, the fact that this is going on in your life is not a coincidence or anything. No, no, this is the universe. This is the hand of God that is putting things in, into motion for you. Uh, you've got the Hierophant here, which uh, in a love spread would be marriage. Uh, it would be a committed relationship and a very spiritual uh, union. Um, and um, as I said, this is uh, this is fated, Taurus. This is a, a destiny and you're so excited about it. You could be, you know, a bit foolish in the sense that since you're so excited... You, you maybe you're not you're not seeing you know everything realistic uh, um, you're seeing it through rose-colored glasses but it's okay because the cards are great uh, so um, you should be excited and you should be happy about it okay let's see how do you see this person how does Taurus see the person they're dealing with in love how does Taurus see this person Okay, mm, this person is struggling now, Taurus, and um, you know that. Um, there has been some sort of uh, problem in their life, and um, um, it, it really takes a long time for, for them to resolve this, and it's not easy to do. Uh, you know, this, this person is working hard, and they're carrying loads of burdens. And um, it's because there, there was this shake-up in their life, something unexpected that happened, <clears throat> quite possibly maybe even with you um but um you, you know this person is um uh, going through some rough time um now uh okay let's pull out some more cards maybe i'll find out more about this situation let's see now how do they see you how does this person see taurus please tell me how does this person see taurus Oh yeah, and you, you know they if if this reading is about the marriage, they definitely see you as marriage material. Um and um they see you as someone they want to make an offer to. Um they're not so sure if you're going to be very accepting of it or that you if you're going to be satisfied. I'm keeping it in the theme of the marriage. It's possible that this person might have some financial burdens so to say and they're thinking that maybe, let's say, if they offer you a ring, they, they, an engagement ring, it's not going to be something that you're going to be fully happy with because um, maybe they can't afford to get you the ring that you would like. Something like that. You know, this person wants to make you some sort of offer, but they're just worried that it's not really going to be to your liking. It's a good offer. It comes with the justice card. It's... um. Uh, uh, uh something that um is a, it's a proposition and it's a a proposition made honestly with good intentions okay but it, it might not be something that you dreamed of let's say or at least that's how they see it let's see what are their intentions towards you what are this person's intentions towards taurus Um, Taurus, if you are withdrawn from uh, this person, if you're keeping to yourself, um, not very open to them, they want to change that. If they are the ones doing this behavior, displaying this behavior, again, they want to change that. Um, 
the Queen of Swords is not normally a card that I use to re represent Taurus. So um, there could be for some of you a scenario where there is someone else involved here. Although I do not see it as a marriage, uh, as a love partner, a third party, because it comes with the high priestess. Um, it could be that this is somebody, a female person in their life that's causing these problems for them. It could be a mother, it could be a sister, it could be, I don't know, a roommate, a co-worker, someone, some female. And um, they want to end whatever it is, the drama that they have with this woman. They want it over with, right? So that they can move forward with their life. But for the time being, I'm under the impression that before this person can commit and have this relationship with you, there are some things in their life that they have to take care of and um, resolve. And there are some people, some women, the, the way I see them, two, either two women or one woman, that's uh, that's um, really causing some sort of stress here for this person okay let's see what's the outcome what's going to happen between taurus and this person what's going to happen between taurus in and uh, this person uh from now until the end of december please tell me what's the outcome between taurus and this person Okay, great, 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 great. Um, so this person is going to be open with you in terms of their feelings. They show up as uh, the king of cups, regardless of if it's a male and you're a female watching this for a male or you're a male Taurus watching for a female. This person is going to display these characteristics of somebody who is emotionally involved, where their heart, wears uh, their heart on their sleeves, they tell you about their feelings for you. They're open with their feelings. You're going to have some financial abundance with this person. Um, I'm under the impression, I said earlier that this person might have financial issues. I don't think that's it. They're having issues with some people in their lives. That's the problem here. Uh, when it comes to you and them, you're going to have financial blessings um it's possible that you're going to have good holidays with them you know with gifts and uh, all of that all the the financial things that you need still there's going to be some sort of dissatisfaction this element of dissatisfaction plays out uh, again um as it did earlier um one of you is not going to feel fully happy with what they have I don't know what that is like uh, that's about exactly because um it it makes me it gives me it kind of gives me the impression that maybe you're not too much into this person like you don't like them that much although that's quite not I'm not so sure of that because you have the hierophant you have the the um, fool here you are excited about uh, having a stable relationship and um, this person here in the outcome definitely uh, is offering you something stable um, but I don't know somebody is still going to cry over some spilled milk yeah you see this person they're looking sad towards these three uh, cups uh, that have spilled although they do have the two cups behind them that are still standing but they don't see them that they focus on what they don't have Okay, um, Taurus, I think you need to change your perspective, honestly, because uh, look at you, you've got the Hierophant, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Queen, King of Cups, the, the Ten of Pentacles, what more can you want? No, seriously, <laughs> if, you, if you have this attitude of uh, dissatisfaction, I think I would want more, I think it would be better, more ideal for me if it, things were like this, um, but I always dreamed of it being uh, some, somehow um, in some other way, hey, like, don't be ungrateful, Taurus. Look at me. You, you still have so, so many good things in your life. Uh, focus on the good. I think you need to change your perspective a little bit uh, here in this uh, uh, scenario with the, this person because um, they, have, they definitely have good intentions towards you. 
yeah, they do have some sort of shit in their life, you know, but, uh, well, who doesn't, you know, you can't uh, be perfect and have a perfect life, so um, I think you should uh, try to practice, um, you know, um, being grateful a bit more and thankful for what you've got. Okay, so that was the reading, Taurus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it plays out for you because they, these are some great cards and uh, I really think you're going to have ha happy holidays. Those stops uh, crying over spilled milk. And um, yeah, that was the reading. I hope it gave you some uh, guidance and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.